Hi, I'm Whitney Cummings. You're watching New You. What's your personal take on GMOs and when it comes to your own health and those of others? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I, I feel so grateful that I even have the um, opportunity to know about the ramifications of GMOs. I mean, it's only in the last couple of years living in Los Angeles and, you know, um, knowing people like Zoe who have introduced this concept to me. And I'm, I grew up on GMOs. I was this tall when I was... 11. I mean, this is not, you know, I have a lot of friends who are having kids that are having really inexplicable uh, issues, autism, you know, I mean, it's really kind of becoming more zeitgeisty now, and I think we're getting a little more uh, courageous in terms of, like, dropping our denial about it, but um, it's horrifying, but it's a, just a force so much bigger than us. Uh, you know, I think if I want to get GMO-free food, I have to like go to a farm. It's like no one has time. It's it's to even know about this is such a luxury, and to ha much less have the ability to uh, circumvent, you know, GMOs. It's a full-time job if you want to eat healthy these yeah. days, and I don't think that's fair. I don't think only people with assistance and chefs and money should be able to eat clean. You know, um, I think it's a basic human right for people to have healthy food available to them and their children. Um, and uh, yeah, I've just sort of had light shed on it just recently and um, it's uh, it's infuriating. What are your tips for eating healthy? Do you have a favorite healthy snack that you like? Um, favorite healthy snack? I mean I'm an animal and I eat a lot uh, all the time. I eat pretty much just like almond butter with a spoon all day, chocolate macadamia nut butter. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of my go-to. That sounds um, pretty tasty. Yeah, so it is it's it is hard, though, you know, um, to find uh, food that you know. I mean, you read a label, and you're like, why can't I pronounce anything in this? Yeah. It's like red red number five. <laughs> like, is that even, is that illegal? That can't be, I can, like, can't benzobiasm. Like, I don't, you know, so uh, I've tried to be a little more conscious of it uh, in the last couple of years, and hopefully I will, uh, more people will, too. And lastly, you're a big woman you know, in comedy, and this has been a huge year for women in comedy. Yeah. How do you continually update your material to keep it relevant and in tune with what's going on? I go on a lot of bad dates.